Sing Wild Ones, it's Bernadette, and I'm here with your Pick a Card Tarot reading for Friday. Thank God it's Friday, Friday the 26th, 2021 of March. And um, this is your first, it's my first, interactive um, psychic tarot reading, spirit animal session, whatever you want to call it, but <laughs> I'm just like, spirit, thank you, this is the coolest thing ever, so dig this, y'all. Okay, so Friday is throat chakra day, right? So I'm all in my blue and everything, and I'm sitting here and I'm I'm meditating on what's you know what's gonna be the reading for today because you know this week has been, uh, you know, it might have, I don't know, intense might be it, but necessary, maybe a little bit serious. So I was like la 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 la, and I, I was just like literally, literally had my eyes closed, la 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 la, la not really singing a tune. Um, but I think unconsciously using my throat chakra just to kind of rev up the energy in, in my, in my home, in my office. Right. So I, uh, I flipped a card and sure enough, <laughs> it's the three of swords inverted, which is the blue bird. And I was like, okay, okay. Because still this card, you know, listen, uh, y'all, the three of swords, it's just, if you take a look at the traditional, you know, um, uh, Rider weight tarot card meanings of the card. It's a tough card, right? It's, you know, shut through the heart and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. Uh, but you gotta remember the people that give love a bad name are people that you've brought into your circle, into your energy because of your sacred contract. So it's not, it's nobody's fault. It just is what it is, right? That, that, that was the script y'all wrote and that's what you're living. But here's the thing. So when this card comes inverted, it's a little bit better news, but it, it, it this, the three of swords tarot card inverted has kind of the same meaning as yesterday's card, which is about, listen, you, you it's time for you to face something. It's time for you to like stop ignoring that big snowball that's rolling down the mountain. Cause it's going to turn into the size of a tank and it's going to plow right through your house. And when I say right through your house, that might mean your literal house, you know, like your brick and mortar presence, your brick and mortar structure. It might plow right through this, this house because your, your vessel is, is a home just like turtle and tortoise, right? They carry their home. Home is where the heart is. You get that. So, but then I started giggling and, and I was like, why am I, oh my gosh, why am I giggling? Right? Like I amped up the energy and, you know, I started out with the intention that I always start out with for these collective readings, which is, you know, universe is the greatest statistician on the planet. It's, it's the greatest forensic accountant that there is, because when I set the intention that a reading is going to be, you know, the best for, for as much of the collective as possible, and I always go for the gusto, I go for the whole collective, I trust that the animal allies are bringing me, you know, the animal spirit guides, they're bringing me the information that's most relevant to all of you for people who have the eyes to see and the ears to listen. And we go, you know, that's what we roll with because that's how me and spirit roll, right? So um, I was like, why am I starting to giggle? And then y'all, <laughs> have y'all ever seen... <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I'm going to say this live, but I'm going to do it because uh, I was told to. Have y'all ever seen the little yellow ducky? <laughs> it's the, oh, I'm about to whip somebody's ass. If you don't leave me alone, you're going to have to send me home because I'm about to whip somebody's ass. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's listen to that thing 25 times a week. And I'm the only one that can send me home, right? I work in my office all by myself. Here's the thing. Then I realized why I was giggling because um, then I heard the word interactive, interactive, interactive. So this reading today, you know, when you look at the three of swords inverted and uh, and let me just say briefly that the reason that Bluebird, because Bluebird would seem um, counter to what the three of swords is all about right? You, you, you might think of a, a darker kind of animal or, or an animal that has a dark connotation when they really shouldn't, um, but they do, you know, like a black cat or a snake or a, a lizard or a, you know, the creepy crawlies or the, or the animals that people are afraid of, right? You know, a pterodactyl. But um, w this bluebird was really compelled to be on this card because this is such a tough card. I Listen, light workers and tarot readers and you know all kinds of people they want to sugarcoat this card when it comes out and that's cool that's their that is their process and that's what works for them and their clients so i'm not saying it's wrong what i'm saying is people come to me because i i i'm the spirit animal lady i'm the nature lady i'm the one that's like well 
it's, you know, in nature, it either is or it isn't. And so we're natural and we're animals. So it either is or it isn't, right? And that can be tough to take. It really can. But, but, but inspiration is inspiration. And so because this is such a tough card, the bluebird wanted to be on this card to tell everybody that this card comes for, you know, that's using, um, you know, uh, not using, but working with the uh, medicine and energy of the animals in the ark, helping people with readings or healing or whatever, that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And it's a sweet, beautiful little bluebird. Okay. Now, that being said, um, that doesn't mean that bluebirds don't, you know, have times of strife. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the picture of the angry bluebird. <laughs> That's my ex-husband. He looks just like that. So, um, uh, so, uh, then I was told interactive. Okay. And then I'm like, what does that mean? What does that mean that you want an interactive reading for everybody today? So the three of swords when it's inverted is the same thing. It means that you've been bottling something up in your heart for way too long. And now is the time to release it. Now that might be a little bit of a painful release, but you've got to release it. And what's the best way to do something like that to let everything come up and out of your throat chakra, right? You you may want to walk around today going, I'm about to whip somebody's ass. Maybe you're going to do that. Um, maybe your intention, something that's painful for you has to do with a love relationship, romance, um, someone who's passed over, uh, an animal companion who's passed over. Maybe it's about a job. Um, I'm just telling y'all now in this same meditation, it was crazy crackling with energy in my office this morning. I was like, my hairs on my arms are lighting up right now. And I've got that, you know, that feeling that comes up over you when you get the goosebumps. It's like, blah, 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 blah. like you got champagne in your body. Oh, don't I wish. But, um, the, uh, uh, next week, I'm telling you now, it's all about abundance of every kind. In the Sunday ceremony, it is about abundance of every kind. I cannot wait to, to see what comes for y'all next week. But in this week, it's about releasing that hurt, releasing that pain, releasing the drama, releasing the trauma. There might even be a llama in there. Release the llama, right? Okay. So how we're going to do that today is whether you're going to do it with me in this video, you're going to come back to it later when you, when you've got more time or you're in a, you know, in a place where you can just let that out, you're going to take a few minutes and you're going to stop the video and you're going to set an intention because it's about setting the intention. So for me, the intention that I set to, to, to show y'all what that means is to have a couple of different songs come to me, a couple of different ways come to me, a couple of different methods come to me that y'all can use to do that releasing through your throat chakra. And one of them is breath. So I'm not, I'm not schooled in shamanic breath work. I've read about it. Um, I've done it, but that doesn't mean like I'm schooled in it. But I, I believe probably a good number of you have done some kind of breath work. And so really it's just setting the, the intention and, and you get very relaxed and then you just breathe however you want. When I, for me, when I want to work with breath, I, I, I don't do the long, slow thing, man. I'm like, I'm one shot Sally. I'm like, I breathe deep and I'm like, and I just, man, I push everything up from, from my belly up through my, you know, through my lungs, through my solar plexus. And I just let her rip. And I can do that two or three times and go <laughs> better and, and off about my merry business I go. But some of you all will want to do something slower and more methodical and more rhythmic, right? You may not want to be one shot Sally. And so if breath work is what you want to do, that's cool. Um, some of you will want to do some automatic writing. You'll want to write down what it is that you want to say. And, but, but, and, and, and a lot of people do that, right? There's a lot of release ceremonies and cord cutting ceremonies that involve that, especially on, on full moons when you're doing a full moon ceremony, right? So that's awesome. But it's, it's not like you said it aloud. It's not like you gave the electricity and the energy of your voice out to the universe, out to the spirit, out to the whatever. But if you want to write it down and then you just want to recite it because you want to get your thoughts gathered in your head to say the words that you for sure want to say, the words that match your intention, because that's the important part. You got to set your intention first. That's cool. Maybe you want to sing, right? Maybe, maybe. Um, love has been, man, love has been a big, 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 big subject of a lot of people lately in readings. And man, I've had a lot of readings where people are just like, man, they're just bottomed out because they don't have the, ro and this is about romance. They don't have the romantic love they want. 
or they they've met there a lot of twin flame things lately and i'm just looking at people going oh my god i feel for you i've had twin flames before believe me you know that thing where you just can't keep away from somebody and neither of you are either you're not good for either one of you and you just can't it's like you just can't and that's goodness knows that's based on past lives and working out karmic patterns and all that kind of thing at least that's what i believe i can't prove it to you but um Whew, they will level you out, man. Those those twin flame relationships will bottom you out at some point. So maybe you want to release that, and you might want to sing. Uh, uh, you know, to do that, maybe you want to listen to classical music and just hum along with it. Maybe you are a rocker and you want to rock along. You know, with some death metal um, or show tunes or nursery rhymes. I mean, I listen. Whatever y'all are into, that's what you sing along with. Uh, let's say you want to bring love into your life, right? So. Um, I'm single. I would love to have love, romantic love again at my in my life at some point. Um, so I might opt to sing uh, something from an era that I consider to be, you know, super romantic where, where you know, um, the partners, the men were like really, okay, it's old fashioned. What can I tell you? It's what I like, you know, but I might do an Etta James thing, you know, at last my love has come along. My lonely days are over. Ready? Because you got to hit the money note. That's a big part of this. And love is like a song. Right. You've got to belt it out. I know that wasn't on tune. I know there was too much vibrato. I know I wasn't supporting it from my diaphragm. I, I know that. I know that. But I sang it anyway and I meant it. And so there, then you might even sing uh, that Leanne Womack song. I love that song. I hope you dance. You might get up and dance. You might just get out. You just might get up and scream your brains out. I don't know. But the point today is it's an interactive reading. And you are supposed to stop the video when you're done. You're supposed to set your intention. And, and again, it can be right now. It could be whenever. But you've got to set your intention. And today on this day, on this Friday, thank God it's Friday, Friday, right? Oh, by the way, ha, listen to this. So I, you know, that song always comes into my mind. I know it comes into pretty much most people's minds when you think about Friday. Did you know that's from a group called Love and Kisses? I was like, that's the most appropriate song ever for today. It's about love and kisses, right? So, um, which it's so close to the throat chakra. That's why I say that. So I, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, the animal allies, you know, they're like chirping and they're, they're meowing and they're barking and they're cawing and they're grunting and they're bellowing and they're roaring. They're like, do it. Don't just think about it. Don't be just amused by it. Do it. And I promise you, if you do that on this day, there will be such a release out of you that you will just feel like, I don't even know what you're going to feel like lighter and brighter and more hopeful and more optimistic. Um, cause here's the thing. This is one of the cards in the deck. You don't want to turn this card around. You want to just keep this little birdie right where it is. We don't need to, cause from here to here is even worse. So don't do it. Um, what we want to do is we want to kiss, we want to kiss the bluebird and we want to thank the bluebird so much for the optimism and the hope. And, you know, again, bluebird throat chakra, let that stuff fly right out of your throat. Let that blue just take it away. And, you know, you may love light blue. You may love a blue that's almost violet or purple. You may love indic. I don't know. Pick a blue and just imagine Mr. Bluebird's coming out of my throat chakra. Bum, 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 bum. Okay doesn't fit in really well with the lyrics, but you get what I mean. So I love it. I love this reading. So, and it's all about me. I keep telling y'all it's all about me. Um, but seriously, I hope this was helpful. Um, and I, I know that when spirit starts to introduce new stuff, there'll be more stuff like this later. Um, so you heard it here first, the, the kookiest readings on the internet, uh, but, but effective, I hope. So bam, um, pick up your copy. I practiced that for like three days. No, I didn't really. I just was really hoping I didn't bonk myself in the face. Pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. For goodness sake, get on over to gatheringofmystics.com so you can have a safe, wonderful, private space to discuss everything woo-woo. There's no judgment. There's total acceptance. We're all supportive of each other because Mama Bear says so. Um, and please, 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 please set your calendars for April 1st. That is the launch of my Kickstarter for my new book, which will be your new book, which you cannot live without. If you care a fig about spirit, totem, power animals, if you care a fig about connecting with nature and animals more deeply, this is the book for you. So all of that said, all of that sung, what's the most important thing? to do good for animals and stay 
wild.